serious limitations to a ground operation only though you've been bombing what for nine months now they haven't really been degraded that much in Syria they've gone back and forth on their front lines in Iraq and they're still managing to recruit and to some extent really financially they've been degraded more by the collapse in the oil price than anything else so at some point this has to transfer doesn't it into a more serious ground operation oh, Clearly it does, and that's been the intent from the beginning. Uh, we, there's also been a very clear explanation this is a long-term effort. It's not going to happen fast if we have to train a ground force. That training is now beginning. Um, people are actually in the training program. It's, it's just in its nascent stages. Uh, but clearly that's going to have to go along with the air campaign, and the air campaign will expand to support the ground effort. When would you see that happening in Syria? Oh, I, can't, I couldn't even begin operation. to tell you that. I'm not the guy making that decision. <laughs> <laughs> Mark Mike Gornickel. General, in terms of target specificity, uh, how confident are you in the success of strikes when it's noted that on the ground we have a, a, a lack of capability in targeting targets? Mike, I'm actually very confident once uh, the decision is made to engage a target that it's going to be hit. Our success rate is exceptionally good. It, it always has been. I believe that when we look back on this, it'll be the most precise air campaign in history. Uh, there aren't a lot of targets being hit, though. It's somewhere between 15 and 25 a day. So it's not a massive air campaign. It's a fairly targeted air campaign, but it is very precise. General, how difficult is the Syria question? It seems Iraq has been, as you said, more uh, ISIS is more, more degraded in Iraq than in Syria. Syria presents a whole host of problems, including you don't really know who the good guys are on any given day. How tough is it from your point of view? Well, it's a, it's a very tough problem. Well, there's lots of different factors involved, from regime to uh, multiple forces on the ground competing with each other, influences from outside the country as well as within. I think this is where our national policymakers are having to spend the most uh, most of their effort is figuring out where do you go with that mosaic. All right.